Well, one of the important things to keep in mind about Citizens United is there was a lot of high spending on state judicial races before the decision took place. But one of the things that Citizens United did was it helped exacerbate the trend of money flowing away from candidates and toward outside groups. In terms of what that does for judicial races, when the money is moving away from the candidates and toward independent groups, we're seeing candidates have less control over the message and the kind of campaign that's being run. And we're seeing a spike in negativity. It tends to be that the independent groups run more negative attack ads. And that all results in the public having far less faith in their courts and the ability of their judges to be fair and impartial. In North Carolina, this past election cycle, for the first time ever, we saw a super PAC formed in a judicial race. Um, many people thought after Citizens United and Speech Now v. FEC that super PACs would come and affect federal races, but no one thought they would come and affect state races the way we saw in North Carolina. I think the public is aware and becoming increasingly aware of the fact that a lot of money is being spent on political campaigns. They're seeing more television ads. But I think overall, the public isn't paying all that much attention to how much money is being spent on judicial races. Once they are aware of it, though, they tend to be appalled and they tend to be worried that all this money is affecting the ability of their courts to be fair and impartial.